Pleased to be joined by General Manager John Robinson. Two wins in a row. Good thing. Let's talk about some of the big players from the win over Tampa Bay. How does Jarrell Casey just keep doing it? Yeah, you know, he works extremely hard. Um, he, he's a talented player. Uh, he's played a lot of football. There's not much that he hasn't seen. You know, we talk about guys that kind of have an instinct or a nose for the football, and, and he's certainly one of those guys that, that just, you know, in, in big time uh, situations, he comes up with a play for us. Speaking of defensive tackles, how did Jeffrey Simmons do in his second game? Yeah, got a few more snaps um, this past week against Tampa. He factored on a twist game that, that Casey had a sack on, drew a big holding call for us, working the technique. I think that's the thing that he's really improving on is the technique. All right, let's talk about the secondary at this point and how these guys all year long as a group have made big plays. What is so special about the group of five, six, even seven guys who make it happen in your secondary? Well, I think those guys that have been around each other for, for a while now, they know how to play off each other's strengths or, or make up for, you know, for a coverage where we're really putting maybe one guy in a bind. The other guy knows I've got to kind of do a little extra here. They communicate really well verbally and non-verbally with signaling and really do a great job of trying to get the defense on the same page. Who are a couple Titans who are playing really well but are kind of flying under the radar? Well, it's probably a couple names that, that, that you know, many have heard of. I think offensively, you know, Tajay Sharp, who started a lot of football games for us here. On the stat sheet, it didn't show up as a lot, but had a huge third down catch on, on that 90-yard drive. And, and the touchdown catch you know, obviously gave us more points. And then Daquan Jones on the other side of the ball. You know, nose tackles, they, they don't get a lot of a love. It's kind of an unsung hero job in there, banging around, two-gapping, and pushing the pocket. But both of those guys are really playing good football for us. Carolina, the opponent this week, when you start with the Panthers, you've got to start with their back. Christian McCaffrey, so versatile, run game, pass game. Why is he so effective in both? Well, he's, he's, a really, he's a really instinctive player. He's got great vision as a runner. He's quick, he's fast. He's bigger in stature than, you know, than maybe he gets credit for. He runs with good strength, and he's great out of the backfield. His hands are exceptional. Uh, when he gets in the open field, he's really, really dangerous. On defense, the Panthers have a combined 30 quarterback sacks how are they able to get that pressure from all over the place yeah I think that's you know that's an interesting stat and 12 there's been 12 players that have, have contributed to, the, to those 30 sacks uh, I think it starts up front you know they've got really good playmakers starting on the interior of the D-line with Poe and, and the Pro Bowl and McCoy they're at their end of the line of scrimmage their rushers uh, whether it's the rookie Burns who's off to a fast start Mario Addison who's really developed into a good player uh, and, the, and the Pro Bowl of Bruce Irvin. You know, all of those guys up front along that line of scrimmage, they factor. And then, you, you know, you, you kick in Luke Keekley, who's not a bad player. He's yeah. Jack Thompson. You know, those guys, are they can be really tough to handle. How did the Tennessee Titans go to Charlotte and beat the Carolina Panthers? Well, I think offensively for us, we, we've got to stay on track. We've got, to, we've got to sustain drives. We've got to make third downs. We've got to get to the red zone and, and, and score points. And, and defensively, it's about limiting their, their playmakers. We've got, to, we've got to affect this young quarterback. Uh, we've got to get pressure on him. And we've got to contain McCaffrey, who we talked about. And then Olsen uh, at tight end, who's a uh, you know, perennial Pro Bowl player. And their weapons offensively. This Samuel's really fast. Uh, DJ Moore is an excellent football player. So you know, it'll be a big test for us this Sunday. Now, John, we want to take a minute to congratulate you on a special award that you received this past weekend. Oh, thanks. Good okay. stuff. John returned to his alma mater, Southeast Missouri State, better known as SEMO, and received the Alumni Merit Award presented by Southeast's Alumni Association at the Copper Dome Society Merit Recognition Dinner during SEMO's homecoming celebration. What a special thing for you and your family. Yeah, it, I mean, it was cool to go back and, and see some familiar faces and, and see the campus, you know, kind of kind of where it all started. And I'm extremely blessed for SEMO for taking a chance on me and, and for the honor of, of getting that award.